Hello, it's me again. Um, if you don't know what this doll is, she is called Cindy. She is from the 60s. Well, this one isn't from the 60s, but she's been around since the 60s. She is a UK doll. So if you're internationally watching this, you might not recognize her. Um, this doll isn't vintage. She's from 2002, which I guess is 20 years old. So I guess it is kind of vintage E, but um, there are ones from the 60s, which is what she originally is from. Um, this one isn't, but yeah, I got her in a charity shop for two pounds and I, I've never actually found another Cindy. So this is the first Cindy I've ever got and I've been waiting for a while to, um, come up with an idea of kind of customizing her because I've only got one. So I was like, I want to do something big special with her and I have decided to make her into weird Cindy. Now that is based off Weird Barbie, which if you watched the movie, you would know who she is. If you don't know what, if you haven't watched the movie, I don't know where you've been because it has been everywhere. Um, there are dolls of her. There's just yeah, there's loads of things of this Weird Barbie, and so I thought I would do my version of Weird Barbie, but as Cindy. So the first thing I am doing is taking away the face paint from her. Now again, this doll isn't super old. She's from two thousand. 2002 if she was an original from like the 60s or 70s I would not do the face but because she's from 2002 I'm going to do that um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I want her hair to stand up like proper up so I am dipping her head in boiling water this has just been boiled so it's super super hot so I'm just leaving it in here for a little while probably for like 10 20 seconds if that um just making sure that it's fully soaked or hair is like dripping down and then i'm just literally doing this i've just left her head down in the bath to dry overnight and then you get this so her hair is up straight and i'm, I'm literally just snipping into it no real pattern no real design i just wanted to make it shorter and I want to just kind of give it a really rough cut because you know the idea of with Barbie is Barbie, shall I say, is that she has been played with. Um, you know when kids cut her hair. So this is kind of the whole look I'm going for for this one. I'm using some wax, my own wax of course, and I'm just pulling her hair really, really rough to again give it some kind of oomph to help it stand up. Keeping the hair really, really simple. Now for the face, I had this vintage Barbie that I bought recently. And she's from the 80s, I think, or maybe 90s. And I really like the face paint of this. It's kind of really big, round, cute. It's in blue. So I thought, you know what, if I want to do a weird Barbie, why don't I do, I mean, a weird Cindy, sorry. Why don't I do the face like a Barbie, but not just any Barbie, like a vintage Barbie? Um, because I'm, I'm a kid of the 80s. 90s shall I say I was born in the 80s but I grew up in the 90s and so my idea of Barbie is like this one really really cute really retro um this this is how I know Barbie so I thought let me give a go at painting this face on Cindy and see how it goes and I'm gonna be honest when I started I was like what the hell am I doing this doll looks crazy like really really crazy so I'm just gonna carry on with it anyway because I've done quite a lot. I'm hoping that it'll work out. If not, I can always redo it. But you know, this is the first time I've ever painted this face on a Cindy face. So at this point, not too bad. And then when I add the white, this white dot really makes such a difference. Um, and now I am adding the weird Barbie face paint um, and again, you know, she's meant to be played with, you know, kids color in the face, paint all over it. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm doing the markings that she has. Um, she has this big round ring around her eye and then she has some colors across her forehead. So she has like a blue squiggle and then a pink squiggle. Um, again, very trans colors, which I really love. But yeah, the face is all done. I'm super happy with her. Um, yeah, love it. So I'm going to start on her dress. Now, Weird Barbie has this pink dolly dress uh, with loads of like scribbles and you know paint marks all over it. And I'm gonna do my version of the dress. Now, everything that I'm doing so far, if you watched my last couple of videos, is got a floral design because I'm doing a convention next year and the theme is floral fantasy. So 
every doll that I am doing has a floral element to it, including this one. And if you'd like to see how I put the designs onto the fabric, onto the dress, um, you can follow my Patreon and I will have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it on there. Um, so please support me because, you know, I'm a starving artist and yeah, times are hard. So yes, please follow me, please subscribe. That'd be amazing, thank you. Anyway, back to the dress. As you can see, it's all done. I am now moving on to the boots. Now, this has turned a bit green, but I did try to get it yellow like the boots, as you can see, but it turned green and actually in the movie, the boots look more green, so I don't mind too much. Um, I am now painting um, the snake print design the, onto the actual boots. So as you can see, I'm painting one side here um, really, really quick, and then I'm doing it all over. And this took about an hour and a half to do, so yeah, it turned out quite good. So I'm really happy with that. And now it's time to dress with Cindy. So first on, I'm gonna put her dress on. Um, I haven't done her nails in this, by the way. So if you watch, normally I would do the nails, but because it's with Cindy, I thought, nah, she doesn't need it. She looks kind of cool already. So yeah, with Cindy is ready and I'm gonna put her boots on. And once her boots are on, she is ready to do the splits. Cause that is what Weird Barbie is about. So anyway, uh, this is what Cindy looked like before and this is what weird Cindy looks like now and I am super happy with her like so this is a picture of what the doll uh, Weird Bobby looks like and as you can see I've taken multiple aspects of it but done it my way um, after all she is weird Cindy she's gonna be slightly different but I think you kind of see where it comes from it's super cute I really love this doll she is just like adorable with like a super double adorable of it so anyway um if you like this video please subscribe um if you want more information about the convention that i'm doing i am putting it in the links below um and if you could and you would love to support me i have a patreon page again i'll put the links below um but yeah thank you for watching this i hope you enjoyed it i've loved doing this video and yeah if you can just like yeah, watch more of my videos. That'd be amazing. Thank you. Hope you have a lovely evening or day or whatever time you're watching this. Thank you very much. Okay, bye.